Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. This week's tutorial is about limiting the upload file size in WordPress. And this is really important because you don't want to accidentally have a large image on your website, or especially if you're working with clients, you don't want your client to upload a, an image that's just way too big for the web, right? You want to make sure it's optimized for the web. So one way you can do that is by simply limiting the maximum file size, like 500 kilobytes, you know, instead of, or two megabytes, what, you know what I mean? Whatever you want it to be, you don't want it to be too high because I mean, anything greater than that, you, you have to have a really good reason for it. You know, images should be much, much smaller, you know, maybe 100 to 200 kilobytes at the most. So limiting it will help you you know improve your site performance by not having huge files there especially um, by your clients you know they might upload them accidentally so this tutorial i have two methods i'll show you how to do it you can do it with php with a code snippet or with divi assistant so i'm going to show you both ways and you can do what works best for you you can come on over to our blog post here we have just different explanations here especially about the file size and converting you know the code here so if you're using the code snippet method um, you'll you want to check that out for sure because you know I explained how you know there's you know a thousand and twenty four kilobytes and a megabyte we have a we have it set to one megabyte as like the conversion factor and then in this code it's actually set to 512 as the default you know so read up on that you'll need to do that if you're using the code method um, if you're using Divi Assistant, you simply enable the setting and enter your value if you want to change it. I'll show you what I mean by this. If I go over to Divi Assistant and go into the Media Helper. So we have in the Uploads tab, we have Limit Maximum Media Upload Size. I'll enable that. I think I'll keep it at 512 KB. I can change that, but there you go. Now. Since I've done that, I'm going to go and try to upload a new file. So I'll select something that's big. All right, so I, I know that this file is way too big. There you go, it says it exceeds the maximum upload size for this site. So there you go, it, it says right here, there, let me show you. Maximum upload file size is, is what I have set, right? 512 KB. Now, if I was going to use the code method, I could just copy the code and then here we have explanation. Um, if you're using Divi Assistant, well that wouldn't make sense because then you could just use that. Um, you could put it in Divi Assistant, but you can put it in your child theme, in the functions.php file, um, or in a code snippet plugin. Um, and then after you paste in your code, wherever you need that, like for example, if you were using a code snippet plugin like this, I could go to snippets and add new and paste. So let's say I wanted, I actually wanted the maximum to be uh, two megabytes. Um, so that would be, in fact, I mentioned that in here, that would be 2048 kilobytes. So I would put that right here, 2048. And of course you write your title. Um, and that's how you would do it, you know, like a code snippet plugin. Um, if I wanted of course, I could come in here and say the same thing, 2048 there, save changes. And I could even try to upload that same file. And this time, it's the exact same file. This time it's working. Here you can see maximum is now two megabytes. All right, so yeah, a really good thing to do just to prevent any accidental uploads over that size. And of course, the nice thing about it is if you had some file that you definitely needed to upload, you could just disable the setting and go ahead and upload it and then go back and enable the setting again. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this. We have tutorials like this actually every week. So you can subscribe and get notified each week, either on YouTube or over on the blog. We actually have a monthly newsletter that we send out and we'll let you know like things about Divi, things about our family and all like that each month and then we'll have a list of the blog posts and tutorials from that month as well. So I hope you enjoy that and we'll see you all in the next video.